How are you after all of that? Yeah, I think you play it in your head how you think that something like that will go. Uh, but no ma matter how many times you play it through your head, uh, when it comes time to uh, go through with it, it's, it's always a little bit different than what you thought. And there was a lot of emotions, and I think I understand where a lot of these women are coming from, and it's just upsetting to me that I kind of created a lot of that frustration, and, I, and it's just tough. Walking in this evening, did you were you ready for that? Did you think the ladies would let you have it like they did? Yeah, uh, yeah, I did. I, I kind of knew that it was that was going to come, and, and I think for me though, it's it's one thing to think that; it's another thing to actually see it. And when I did see that, it, it, it does hurt because you realize there's I don't want to call it animosity, but there's a lot of strong emotion there, and you just wish that there could have been a way that you came in here and, and it was. It was nothing like that, but it was. There was a lot tonight, a lot to be said and a lot of feelings, and uh, I'm just happy that we were able to talk through it all. You said a few times, you know, you wish you'd handled it differently, you wish you'd acted differently. What's your biggest regret from this season? Yeah, you know, I mentioned it um, there uh, partway through. I don't really have any regrets because I can't go back in time and change my actions because my actions were 100% authentic. They were what I thought was best. And so for that, I can't say I had any regrets, any regrets, but I wish that I would have done things differently. But in those moments, I was doing what I thought was best. Are you engaged? I'm going to have to give you the America's going to have to wait and see. And I'll leave it at that. Meeting the girls' families, did that help you make your decision for who you sent home? Uh, actually, truthfully, meeting the families, they were all great. Uh, every last one of them and for me it just solidified that these women were incredible and and it, it it really made it actually tougher for me to realize that hey I can't say well I didn't connect with this person's family so maybe uh, this is just not meant to be all of their families are incredible and it just made the decision that much tougher you've fallen in love with three people pretty much so how hard was it narrowing it down to one incredibly hard because at that point they were feel it was feelings it was that was it there was no rationale behind it I don't think you can rationalize falling in love with multiple women at one time as I say that still it doesn't make sense to me uh, but I had to make it make sense in that moment because it's what I felt it was genuine uh, but it was tough and I just again I look at it now and I look back at it and I was trying my best to navigate that and that scenario but there's no way to do it the right, right right way, I don't think. And I just, I found out after the fact that, hey, your actions yeah, have repercussions. If you get married, will we see it on the show? I'm just taking it one day at a time. I think for me, uh, I you know have things coming up, AFR, uh, conversations that need to be had, and I really need to just take it from there and reflect as well on my own and see what's best moving forward. Dancing with the Stars, could that be next for you? I like dancing for what it is. I wish I could dance better than what I do. Um, so, <laughs> listen, I, like I said, one thing at a time. Uh, yeah, I like to dance. That'd be cool. That'd be a sweet opportunity. But uh, that's not up to me to make that decision. I certainly would say yes, but I think people have to want you to go on that show. So I guess we'll see what happens at the end of it all. Do you feel like you got everything off your chest tonight and you uh, you spoke to all the ladies fairly and honestly? Is there anything else you would like to say to any of them? You know, I, I think there's a million thoughts that race through my head and I, I felt that tonight I had to be clear and concise, not ramble, not try to over explain things. And I was able to get the majority of what I wanted to get out. I was able to talk through it with these women. Uh, could I have said more potentially if we had more time? Yeah, absolutely. But I think for what it was, I was able to really speak what I felt was most important to, to, to discuss. And so overall, I think it was, it was productive. So Clayton, we've got a quick little quiz for you. Are you ready? First thing that comes into your mind, the one girl that made you laugh the most, which lady made you laugh the most? Gabby. Best kisser? Uh, I kind of did a lot of kissing, so I don't know who was the best. <laughs> All right, that's, that's, I'm going to incriminate myself here. <laughs> I don't know if there was one I can... You're in enough trouble tonight as it is, right? enough trouble. I should not dig that <laughs> hole deeper. The one that shocked you the most? Uh, first thought was Gabby again, yeah. Gabby. Gabby's got a lot going on, right? Um, who would make the best bachelorette? Oh, gosh, that's subjective. Uh, I think, honestly, you can make an argument that 
any of a lot of these women, the majority of them. Uh, I don't know if you want to say top five, top seven, whatever. Most, a lot of these women are incredible. Come on. I, I don't have one. I don't. I really don't have one. I don't think people want me making that decision anyway. So, uh, I would support any of them. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.